What is up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm doing a life update that is long overdue. Mitch might pop in here and there, but I just wanted to sit down, chat with you guys about life the past like three or four months because you know, some crazy stuff has happened and I just want to talk to you guys. I also wanted to give a shout out to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. We'll talk about them more later, cooking some delicious food. But for now, let's rewind it to April because April was a crazy month. I feel like there are so many things you guys have no clue about. But now that I am done with school, yay! I finished my marketing certification program, so yay me i'm so proud of myself that was a brutal six months i also don't know if or when i'll be going back to school to finish getting my degree but i don't know it's gotta happen sometime well i'll probably i don't know i gotta think about it you guys but i just need a breather to just sit and think about our wedding and finish planning the details and stuff and i just want some relaxing time to do that and really enjoy the last you know bits of being engaged but yeah so let's go back to april april was a crazy month so at the beginning of april i got in a car accident it was bad okay so let me explain it to you guys if you are not familiar with the driving in texas it is actually insane like the drivers here speeding all the time never use signals never paying attention always texting in on their phone like it's actually really dangerous to drive here especially on the highways but in this instance i was not on a highway i was actually like on a frontage road usually there's like four to six lanes on a frontage road and the frontage roads are actually really busy like there's so much traffic on the frontage roads as well as on the highway but there's like two straight lanes two left turn lanes and then one lane that turns right and one lane that goes straight and turns left so it's kind of hard to explain but i was in the right left turn lane the lane that also like you can go straight and you can take a left so i was in that lane and then there was another car next to me in the left only turn lane so the light turns green and i go and i'm like the first person to take off um at the green light i'm going right on this car and this is the car that crashed into me i'm going taking a left and she just goes straight and t-bones me in the uh rear passenger i mean the rear driver's side seat so like literally so close to me thank god i'm like okay like nothing bad happened i was very shaken up though Delicious. that was so quick holy crap uh, I ran. why i said your espresso didn't go bad <gasps> I'll insert a picture here of the damage but luckily um, we were so close to home that I called Mitch and we only have one car we share a car so I called Mitch and he had to sprint to me it wasn't like too far away but I felt so bad obviously upon impact I was like panicking I've never been a car accident before especially not alone so I didn't know what to do but I just started bawling immediately everything is good now I'm just glad I'm okay obviously finally got our car fixed like two months later also in April some really exciting stuff happened obviously I showed you guys that I got my wedding dress which is oh, I'm just so in love with it I try not to look at it too much because I don't want to I don't want to ruin the the newness of it you know and then I also went down to Austin to do a secret project. I'll be able to share it with you guys soon and I cannot wait because it's actually, it's insane. Coming very, very soon. Moving on to May. So we went to Minnesota to visit Mitch's family. I thought I had a week of breaks in between my semesters for school. So we were like, let's go to Minnesota. Turns out I did not have a break, but we went anyway. And it was nice just to, you know, be around family. As you guys saw, we surprised mitch's sisters and um the nephews so that was really fun i honestly feel like i was just very like kind of sad between april to may just you know i'm not gonna say specifics but family drama and how much it sucks when it feels like you know the most important people or at least the people that are supposed to be the most important to you which is family is like not very supportive and not you know just like strained relationships and stuff so that is really hard but um most things are good now by the way may was kind of just like a somber month lots of working on familial relationships and just figuring things out while also being so 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 stressed by school because my last semester i did not like 
the last two classes I was taking. I contemplated withdrawing from my classes like three times. Thank God I got through with it and I'm just so happy to be done. But also very proud of myself for persevering. So and then as you guys saw in June, we went to Arizona and New Mexico. We took our engagement photos and we got our marriage license. So if you guys have not seen that vlog, go look for it. I love that video so much and I love Arizona so much. Mitch and I both just love Arizona so much. Every time Mitch and I leave Arizona, we're just like so fulfilled and happy and we wish we could be back and we literally think about it like every day. We're always so torn between like, okay, if we move, are we gonna move to Arizona first? Are we gonna move to Colorado first? Like what state fits our vibe the most? Comment down below, Arizona or Colorado? We are like so, so torn. We don't want to go back to Colorado because of the snow, but the mountains and the people, like it's just beautiful and it just makes us so happy. But then Arizona is also like kind of the same way. This video is sponsored by Green Chef. So thank you, Green Chef, if you guys have never heard of them. They're actually owned by HelloFresh, who we've worked with on this channel before and we absolutely love it. It's so easy and convenient, especially with us being so busy, school schedules, work schedules. Being able to get our meals shipped straight to our door is so easy and convenient. I don't have to plan meals, which I normally do every week, but it's nice to just get a break from that. I love all of the different options that Green Chef has to offer, like keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian. Mitch and I actually got Mediterranean and vegetarian this week, which is super awesome because you can mix and match different kinds of meals to fit everybody's preferences. So let me show you what we're gonna be cooking today. Today we're making the black bean flautas. It comes with this recipe card. Super easy to follow along with, even Mitch can make it. Everything in this bag comes pre-portioned for every meal, so no food is going to waste and you get exactly what you need. Chop fork it. Just like that, lunch is served. Mm. This is like one of my favorite ones though. One of my favorite this meals. Honestly, this honestly has become one of my favorite meals. Yeah, it's We've had so this good. Now. Yeah, this is our second time having it. It took me literally like 25 minutes to cook. So if you guys are interested in trying out Green Chef, you guys can use our code on the screen here, Destiny and Mitch 135 to get $135 off plus free shipping with your first box, which is such a good deal and you guys yeah. will not regret trying yeah. this. And we went with the vegetarian meals because just mm -hmm. with shipping meat, it's easier. And this is honestly a great meal mm -hmm. and I am not a vegetarian. No. There's also been <clears throat> another update going to the gym yep. lately, getting stronger. We just wanna look like the best like in shape for our wedding day. Yep. So yep. we've been hitting the gym. I usually work out like pretty much every day, but I never went to the gym and like used weights. So yep. I'm hoping to see some improvements by using weights. Right. And I worked out maybe like once or twice a week, maybe if that. Once every two weeks. Yeah, it was just <laughs> like enough to keep me like from getting any worse. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so, I mean, I used to be like a pretty active you know weightlifter and you know i was i was fairly strong in high school so whenever i work out like it comes back real quick mm -hmm. and we've literally spent a week in the gym and like literally 
my chest is feeling like like uh, <laughs> that tank top that I wear to the gym. I was like, did this get Busting smaller? Busting out of it. Yeah, I was like, is this getting smaller or what? Any other life updates, babe? Nope. Are you kidding me? No. You guys, he's being humble okay. and modest, and it's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna warm. Stop. Tell them. Tell them what? Stop. <laughs> so, I got an email last night about <laughs> my master's exams. Um, and it started with congratulations. Uh, so that was very good news yesterday. I passed my master's comprehensive exam so that I can actually graduate once I finish this month's of courses. And yeah, so I will have a master's degree by August, guys. And it's just really exciting. It is. I'm mm -hmm. so proud of you. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. He thought that he was going to fail. Yeah, well, I got... I knew you wouldn't, but... I got so nervous the day of the exams that I got sick. I, I was nauseous. Oh, my God, yeah. And so, I and it you have bad. to start the test by 9. You can't start any later. You can start earlier, but you can't start any later. And so I had to take... I had to press start when I was, like, about to puke. I didn't puke, thank God, but... I like Were you felt, shaking? Yeah, yeah, I was. And so I had to press start... And I was laying on the couch and, you know, you have an hour and a half to take each part of the exam. And I wasted 40 minutes on the couch. So I only had 50 minutes to take the first part of the exam uh, when I started feeling better. And actually, I wasn't even feeling better. I, I was just like, this is just too long. I have to start. Yeah. And the only reason I did that, too, is because... I don't know why they do this, but they give you an hour, but then they give you plus 30 minutes if you need it. So in my head, I was like, okay, so it should only take you an hour, but you have an hour and a half. And so that's why I did that. Yeah. And it worked out. So. Yeah. So we found out the, the anxiety sickness isn't only from flying or traveling. It is also from taking big exams. What the, hell it is. <laughs> what the hell it is, guys? It's weird. It's so weird. Mm-hmm. And we've been trying to figure out why that happens. Because it's like, I'm not, I'm not feeling anxious. I'm literally yeah. just thinking about the task at hand. You know? Like, I'm just thinking about, all right, yeah. I'm gonna, if I get asked this on the task, I'm going to do this. And I'm just, like, kind of going over what I'm going to do. Going over my notes. And I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. But, like, when the stakes are high, I don't know. It just, like, hits different, right? Because I've taken plenty of tests. Mm -hmm. But, like, this was, like... The test, you know, and... The test. The <laughs> test, and I don't know. It was just weird. Oh, mom's calling. Hello? Hey. Hey. <gasps> this is what I put up with every day. Every day. <laughs> I'm freaking dead. say for yourself oh whoa 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 oh that's what i gotta say extreme maximum skill bit no, <laughs> i could not <laughs> with you okay come see <laughs> you wait your man had flavor. <laughs> I'm scared. Mitch is in a silly, goofy mood. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sorry. My mom called and she's priority. Yep. In life. So. Is she though? Not over you. Yeah. Get it right. Okay, so now that... <laughs> We're not doing that right now. <laughs> okay, so like I mentioned, I'm... <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Well, guys, that is the update on our life lately. I told them that we're getting married in Arizona. Yep. If it wasn't already obvious. Yep. Are you excited? Me? Yeah. Yeah, of course. 
I'm getting married. So, yep, our wedding date is coming up soon. Guess in the comments when our wedding date is. All right. Well, that's... <coughs> All right, guys. Well, all right, guys. That is the video. Thanks for tuning in to this life update. A lot of things have happened in the past four months, and many more things are about to happen. So just come along. Uh uh. And many more. And many more. <laughs> That's gonna be fun to edit. <laughs> and 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 <laughs> and many more. <laughs> you just like turned into a dude. <laughs> <laughs> and many and many more <laughs> and many more things to come <laughs> what are you doing okay 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 three two one and, and? <laughs> why would you do that mess me up <laughs> okay 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 and 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 many more things to come we're never getting this done. And many more things to come. There we go. How's that? Yeah. Okay, but you, three. But you, the main thing was saying the part after that, so you don't <laughs> even need this part. <laughs> three, <laughs> two, one. And many more things to come, so stay tuned. If you're new, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and thank you again to Green Chef for sponsoring this video. Peace out, guys. Bye.